Hey fellow Terrarians, so liquid explosives, why do we need them and how to get them? Whether you are building your custom fishing ponds such as lava, honey and water obviously, or maybe you're building some themed um, zones uh, throughout your playthrough, you may occasionally require liquids right, to build those ponds. And in this case here I'm preparing a honey pond and also a lava pool as well. And those will be used both for fishing and decorative purposes. So uh, it's it can be a chore getting enough lava and getting enough honey, obviously. And of course we can use some tricks such as water duplication glitches, or we can just get enough iron and get enough uh, uh, buckets and that would work too but that would be tedious obviously right so what's the fastest and most convenient way of doing that so for that we need to travel down to the underworld first and foremost and um, at this point you're looking for lava flies uh, hell flies and similar bugs that can be used as bait right so to catch those pre-boss you would need the golden f uh, f uh, golden bug net obviously or you can also use a lava proof bug net which can be crafted but for that you need to defeat your first uh, eater of worlds or either uh, brain of cthulhu after catching enough lava flies you no longer need to stay in the underworld so we head up to the caverns but we're still in the area with en enough lava pools, right? So we need to find a good lava pool to start fishing. Okay, so at this point, obviously, use your additional accessories that help you uh, increase your fishing power, best fishing rod, right? bait, and obviously some potions, right? So we're looking for obsidian crates, and you may actually need just one, because um, most of these crates will have will we'll produce uh, uh, the, uh, the item that we need we just need one one drop basically right so and let's take a look so in this particular case we got a single crate right so opening it look what we got 10 wet bombs okay so 10 is more than enough for for this particular guide for this purpose okay so you won't you won't need more than that so immediately you can craft by hand you can craft dry bombs from it right so you can see it's a, right away it's available so we will craft a few okay now why do we need dry bombs right so uh, obviously wet bombs they spread spread water so when they explode they, they spread around water now if you stand next to let's say a lava pool very close to it then from dry bombs you can create a lava bomb okay so lava bomb is actually um, obviously it spreads lava so we, we only need one one of each kind okay so this so now we have three we have liquid uh, so wet we have dry and a lava bomb okay so three three kinds but there is another kind which is honey a honey bomb okay so for that we need to travel to the underground jungle obviously look for beehives and standing next to a honey pool it can be a very small one actually don't need to look for big ones uh, you are able again using dry bombs you are able to create honey bombs okay so again we just need one for this particular guide okay so one of each kind that's all we need now we travel back to our base and uh, wait for the demolitionist to arrive and now as long as you have a new inventory you got one of each kind the demolitionist will be selling you all of these kinds okay so the corresponding uh, bombs of course so I suggest keeping at least one of each kind stashed away for this particular purpose because whenever you need it uh, you'll just uh, drop one into your inventory and buy a bunch from the demolitionist immediately so now we have a lot right so they're not very expensive actually they're cheaper than dynamite so uh, affordable even pre hard mode you can easily get a full stack of it and now look what happens if we throw them inside this empty pool right so within seconds you will have it filled with honey now how convenient is that this is in my view this is the fastest method today in terraria in vanilla terraria to obtain to get uh, 
to create your own custom uh, pools of different kinds. So honey pool made within seconds, 5-10 seconds you can make it. Okay, same with lava, but be careful because all of these liquid explosives they do cause, uh, they do harm you if, if they explode too close to you. So m make sure to keep distance, basically. All right, so now we have two pools created within seconds, as you can see, lava and honey. We can fish here. We can uh, use it for other purposes, right? So in this particular case. Um, I, I was planning to use them for fishing. It's very convenient. So to do your, all your lava and honey fishing right underneath your base. Also, obviously, if we get, uh, um, if we want to create a custom pond, a normal fishing pond somewhere in overlap of two biomes, such as desert and forest. So on one side you have a desert, and the other you have a forest. So this is uh, the one, another quick way to do it, right? So you only need a stack of of wet uh, bombs to create it, and it takes only a few seconds. As you can see, the pond is ready. All right, guys. So this was really quick, and I hope you find this video informative. And thank you for watching. And will be. Um, by the way, just wanted to let you know we're about to start two parallel playthroughs: one of modded Terraria and another one of uh, vanilla master mode so stay tuned for for next videos because it's going to be very exciting i'm looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to to see you all thank you for watching and see you in the next one